Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review of the pattern products that I purchased. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for this review. We are back with another banger. Okay, so I use pattern on my personal hair at least four times. I've washed, conditioned, and leave, used the leave-in and also the oil in my hair. I also used it on my two daughter's hair as well. I probably used it on their hair maybe twice each. So I honestly feel like I've tried it enough on three different heads and I can give an honest review because I did not want to come back with this review without trying it multiple times not only on my hair but on my kids hair as well so I'm gonna start with the hydration shampoo when I use the hydration shampoo it does lather well which is what I do like but I also feel like it I guess it's supposed to cleanse and hydrate but I feel like it stripped my hair a little too much uh, for my kids hair it was actually not so bad because normally I lather their hair with plenty of you know oils and leave-ins and stuff like that because they're they wear their hair natural 24 7 there's and it's out 24 7 and so I'm able to get to their hair a little bit better but for me personally, it stripped my hair a little too, too much. I'm going to need something maybe only moisturizing, not um, a cleansing, hydrating shampoo. Maybe just only moisture shampoo for me is probably what I need. So that's my thoughts on this. It was okay. I would probably co-wash more in between. I would not use this every time I washed my hair. Okay, so next thing that I have is the heavy conditioner for coils, hydration and nourishment. I did like, honestly, this conditioner. I did like this a lot. I would use this as a co-wash and things like that. I would also, I also actually like that it was really thick. I love, love thick conditioners. I did have to use a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure she figured more people will be using the conditioner than anything else which is why it's so much bigger than the shampoo that she provided so i will keep this probably in my hair regimen i really liked it a lot it was very hydrating for my hair i left it on you know while i took a shower for the entire time that i was in there and sometimes i leave it on my kids hair uh, for a little while I wanted to really work and penetrate and I made sure that I combed through um, really really good because I wanted to get to every strand so the conditioner is a good plus for me I would definitely purchase the conditioner again I want to try all of her other conditioners as well because she I believe she has two other conditioners from her line too so I'm definitely going to purchase those and give a review on those conditioners as well so the next product from her line is the pattern leave-in conditioner define and moisturize for my hair type and my kids hair type which is leaning more towards a four i feel like the leave-in conditioner was too watery it didn't hold as well as i was hoping i wanted it to be a little bit thicker it's really runny um but if you just need a light leave-in, a light leave-in for a lighter flowy um, wash and go or something like that, then this would be okay. But the leave-in for me was not my favorite. It was, it was all right, it was cool. I mean, I feel like my hair still felt a little dry after it completely dried, I guess you could say, throughout my hair. I let my hair air dry. I do not blow dry my hair at all. So I did feel like it kind of didn't moisturize as much as I wanted it to. So that was that. Now the last product from her line 
that I am kind of on the fence with is the jojoba oil that I actually use all the time. I use it even if I'm not doing my wash day routine for me and my kids as well. I use this all the time, all the time. I definitely use it always after the leave-in to seal in the moisture. Now this I really do like and I love to use it on my scalp the most, not necessarily my hair. I wish it did, you know, a lot of people talk about the ingredients of oils and stuff like that. I do wish seeing as it's called jojoba oil hair serum that that would have been the first ingredient on the list but it's not but it's all right i'm knocking it it's cool so the oil i definitely will keep using on not only my hair but my kids hair as well my kids benefit the most from this hair oil more than me i probably need the hair oil is fine but i probably need a different leave-in and then put my hair oil on top of that I use this constantly in my hair and my scalp. It actually worked on my scalp more than anything, which is amazing because my scalp is always really itchy and I can, you know, never just stay out of my hair and my scalp throughout the day. And now that I have these locks, I'm using it a lot more because now I can just get in and put this throughout my hair. I normally put it in my hair at night before I go to bed. When I put my scarf on, I'll put this on my scalp. For my kids hair i actually only put this on their hair maybe like once a week i will kind of rub it through just to make sure their hair is not excessively dry or anything and it really works really well for them so this is actually going to stay in my regimen for my scalp and for my kids hair so this one's really really good so those were all of the products i'm definitely going to purchase more and maybe do a separate review down the line because i'm going to continue to use these products through my you know hair regimen hair journey um, because i want to actually use the full line until i finish it just so i can give you guys a full i use her products review all the way through because me using it three or four times and my kids using it twice it's really good but i want to give it a full full honest review of how my hair was before i started and how my hair was after i started doing this wash journey so definitely stay tuned i'm gonna add some more conditioners to my um regimen from her line because it might just be that i need to rearrange the products not use the shampoo as much co-wash a little bit more with some different conditioners from her line so i'm just gonna try that i do honestly i'm probably gonna switch out the leave-in because i really am not feeling i wish it was just a little bit thicker and i don't know it just feels like it has a lot of water in it to where it doesn't it dries out fast and it doesn't stay on my hair and really penetrate and smooth it out and you know get all the moisture in like I like it so I like using thicker leave-ins for my hair but that's just me I'm a 4C so I need all the moisture possible you know Tracy Ellis Ross is definitely not a 4C so I'm gonna switch up the conditioners it might just be that and we'll see what comes to next for the next pattern review video that I'll do down the line. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions on this pattern review, definitely leave them below. I'll help you guys with anything that you guys need. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Tickle my head. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh, it's good. It's the sound of the awful mess. <laughs> I was gonna do a voiceover. <laughs> oh, sorry, baby. Okay, turn to the other side. Don't forget me here. It's hot. It's hot. I just turned it down. Give it a sec. <laughs> Sound problem. <laughs>